Ooh, I'm back. Guess who be that? It's your boy Screw S J Fizz Fizz. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. Now listen. My KSI diss track is done. Right now, we just shoot in the video. It's it, it maybe two more days and it's gonna be out. You know what I mean? Doing something real crazy with that, like. Boy, I did something different on that joint. I did something different on that joint. This is what happens when you try to claim you the illest rapper anywhere around me. If I if if I even if I hear it, if I even if I do the Hulk Hogan move and, and hear it in the distance, I'm coming. I'm coming. So we're gonna see who the best rappers that be on this platform are. For real though. So yesterday, uh Quedeca dropped a diss track on KSI also because uh, KSI called Quedeca out by name. Now, I didn't know who Quedeca was before this, before yesterday. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what he did. Uh, I saw he was a big YouTuber. Cool, 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 cool. But my boy Crypt did an everything's great with Quedeca's diss track now you know that's crip my homie by the way me and crip got a project coming had a lot of we've had a we got a lot of stuff going on right now so it's kind of hard to you know get everything lined up for us but we gonna we gonna do it trust me we gonna do it you know what i mean shout out to everybody who checked out the me and crip song last ones on um strictly for the i wasn't on strictly for the fans but i just dropped that after strictly for the fans uh, me and Crypt and Joey Reacts got a song out right now called Santa Bop. Y'all go check that out. So uh, we got a lot of stuff coming. But y'all know when Crypt does everything wrong, I got to see. I got to make sure I check my guy. I'm like, yo, Crypt, what we talking about, say? What we talking about, kid? So right now we're going to do everything's great with Quedeca's diss track. Shout out to Crypt. Ready, set, go. Oops, oops, oops. Oops, my bad. We're going to do it again. Ready? I'm set. Here go. I got you insecure. Okay. She's so insecure. Okay. Nowhere to run. Nowhere for more. Why Deku makes you think this will be a slow emotional disc, but immediately grabs your attention with an upbeat beat switch. Also, the camera intentionally doesn't follow Quadeca and focuses on this now hiring sign on the back of the mail carrier truck, alluding to the idea that KSI can now become a mailman instead of a rapper after this track shows who the better artist is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, that's why I mess with Crip. The fact that you caught that, my G, that's why you do that. I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that UPS thing. I mean, the mailman thing the first time I saw it. Um, the beat switch was hilarious to me, though, because the fact that it went to where my girl's at is hilarious. Ready as I go. Also, you can hear Quadeca say in the background that he doesn't have any of that fake deep bullshit in his diss track like KSI does. KSI has a tendency to act like his music is profound and above everyone else, but it's really just surface level. JJ, Facts. I'm so sorry you're angry. Sorry. Hairline so fucked up, your barber is Tay Keith. Tay Keith is a record producer whose tag speaks about him fucking people up. Tay Keith, fuck these niggas yeah, yeah. up. Tay Keith, fuck these niggas up. Tay Keith, fuck these niggas up. So comparing KSI's barber to someone who fucks people up makes total sense once you learn of KSI's crooked and receding hairline. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I think it's hilarious how... Now, I get certain things off rip, but, like, Crypt is like the... Is like the... <laughs> average person translator. Not even the average person, it's like the, the white guy translator. It's like... Because I thought that was obvious. Uh, Tay Keith is no, but then he's realized, nah, there's definitely people who don't know that. So, yeah, you, you definitely feel in the void. It's just hilarious to hear it explain. You know, when someone explains something, it's sometimes to be explaining certain bars are hilarious, but I love doing that too because I break down people and I, I'm an analytical person too. So, keep doing that. Ain't making main stages. 
You were 18 and a virgin in the basement making rape faces And now you really think okay. your music is the most heat? Oh, that's so profound, you changed, that's so deep okay. When KSI was 18, he uploaded a Q&A video with his father In which they were both asked to make rape faces Or the face you make when you're about to rape somebody Can you do your rape face? Okay, let me do it Alright, so, this is what it was Oh, hell no Okay, now you're meant to do that <laughs> Yo, the screw face on official KSI diss track is coming. Don't even worry about it, bro. And by the way, I got a lot of YouTubers out of here, son. Ready, to like, go. For a long time, the main inside joke on KSI's channel was the rape face, and he even once made a rape face challenge. He's received tremendous amounts of backlash for it and has spent the last few years trying to make the internet completely forget about it. Also, Quadek <laughs> is saying that he is now the same age KSI was when he made that video, showing that Quadek is in a much more highly respectable position in life than KSI was at the time. Also, also Quadek is mocking KSI's efforts of changing his ways from the rape face version of KSI to the present day self, ultimately questioning the legitimacy of KSI's true intent. Shut the fuck up. Dang. Of FIFA. Okay. KSI originally blew up on YouTube with his FIFA videos. Quadeca is saying that his music is so bad that he needs to leave it alone and go back to playing FIFA. Something that he's actually decent play. in. Also, the music is so bad that they use it to torture people in North Korea. That's pretty self-explanatory, but still funny. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm not gonna lie. I like when I like when when Crip do this because it make me kind of like the song a little more. Not like it, but feel the disses a little bit more. Not that I didn't already hear know it. They, where they were but it's just that with the way the crip break it down it makes you be like well yeah i guess that is a yeah okay ready set go okay you made so many stats that your friends are terrified to let you know that you're wet now your homies are your yes man egos over the max call shane dawson i think this guy's a sociopath what well, says okay. that the only reason ksi has friends in the first place is basically because of all the money that he has obtained in his career and that yeah. money is the reason that they refuse to tell to point KSI that out too. not as good as he actually thinks it is yeah, he goes as far as to call them yes man meaning they'll say yes to whatever ksi wants just to not upset him also shane dawson took the internet by storm with his jake paul documentary series in which he examined if jake paul uh -huh. was a sociopath or someone who lacks a conscience and will do whatever they want to benefit themselves which some would say could be attributed to ksi's characteristics huh? i saw you leave the studio with this god you don't make your own shit so how you gonna discard i don't put the okay. finger like my old folks type in but i killed your writer once now he a ghost ghost writer this god is famously known as the youtube god ghost writer not crazy someone who writes songs for other artists to use most notably for rice gum but Eka said that he saw him with ksi ultimately making the connection that this god is writing ksi's songs for him so oh i got some for this god too on that song too <laughs> Trust me. Stuff. Also, Quadeca released a diss track on the disc god around 10 months ago in which he absolutely obliterated him, essentially making him disappear like a ghost. Side note, disc god hasn't uploaded a video since the Quadeca diss track, so I guess he really did go ghost. Hold up. Yo, disc god, don't worry. I got something for you, too. I might have to revive you a little bit just to... Just to give you something to take it away you know what i mean eminem star ready set go that's how it made me get in the booth but all your friends fucking with me way more heavy than you i'm telling the truth I'm i had to i had to talk about that too awkward and i'm fucking better than you during the interview that sparked this diss track ksi's friends minimeter and randolph both like quadek his music and randolph even put him above ksi in the top five youtube rappers. yeah quadek is up there for me as is it as good just saying number one you yep number two Quadeca. Also, plus five wins for FaceTiming W2S. Also, also, Quadeca points out all of his own flaws, but still says that he's better than KSI, even with all of these flaws. Yeah, yeah. Let's take it back to he, the is, he is definitely mad awkward, though. Hold on. One thing I will say that I do not like about YouTube rappers or their YouTube rap scene is that it's very... Aw, oh, thanks for trying. It's very, like... Is because because this this is cool, right? But if you were to separate this situation from YouTube and play this song at like a like a or you spit this at a battle or did this in a cipher or did this in a mo mostly hip hop fan crowd, they're gonna look at Kodeka like if y'all get this, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I don't know. Like that's the only thing I like because it's like. This is passable for like fire on YouTube. Like it's like I don't know. I come from hip hop. Hip hop is a little bit. We we kind of bullies, man. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Like Kodeka would have got gripped up and shut up. 
Oh, I said go. Actually laugh. KSI's videos are filled with forced comedy rather than natural comedy like they used to be. And how you react to the past instead of how bad you can rap, huh? It's actually sad how you don't know that you are actually bad. It's actually mad. I'm actually really gonna get into the band, but I never understand why you really wanna ban me. Yes, okay. I feel like a fan, but he keep you in a bubble that you're looking like Sandy. I just been seeing the plan A. You're more a fan of the plan B. I know it must be hard. You're like my own fan. Can't stand me. The fact that KSI still thinks he's okay. better than this. Also, one of the really fast lines in this part says that his friends are yes men and keep him in a bubble like Sandy. As in Sandy Cheeks from Spongebob, who lived in a fucking bubble dome in the ocean, meaning that the only sort of feedback he receives for his music is from his friends, yeah. who are yes men and will gas him up for anything because of the money, so that's why he thinks his songs are good. Plus five, because KSI said songs have no layers, but this particular line had like four different meanings tying together. Where's the, where's the layers? Where's the concepts? <laughs> yeah, your music is not complex. You talk okay. nonsense, mediocre, right. but a god complex. KSI has basic rhyme schemes. See previous videos for more information. Also, Quadeca pointing fun of KSI thinking he's a god. I'm a god. Dog, bro. If there were two of me, I'm a god. You're delusional on drugs okay. or refuse the two. You're like the black Marina Joyce. I'm not a Fousey two. Marina Joyce has been accused multiple times as of recently for being on drugs and Fousey two. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of people just rapping faster than getting more points for that. But he was saying stuff, but. But to be honest, bro, I wish that I was still a fan. Logan Paul, come and film this. I think I just killed a man. Yeah, I was gonna. I had, to do, I had a line like that in mind too, but I had to take it out because after I heard this. Quadeca already knows that KSI's response will mention a lot of money and how much more money that KSI has than Quadeca, but Quadeca says that he doesn't really give a fuck about that. These two specific lines are in reference to KSI's songs Lamborghini, where he talks about his car, and On Point, where he talks about his wrist spinning like a fidget. Say if Quadeca's watching this right now, he will 100% disagree with you. He he is better than you because of what you put out. Yeah, and then I'm going to put stuff out and then I'm going to blow him out the fucking wall. Plus one win for using excerpts from the podcast that started this entire situation. Yeah. You run away, just can't get out of the water. Can't buy a good song for a dollar. I ain't never been attended to this follow. Quadeca says that KSI is riding any sort of wave on YouTube to make videos about to keep his channel relevant, but that he is still stuck. Also, Quadeca okay. says that he is the exact opposite of this and refuses to follow any trends like KSI does. Also, also, he okay. says that he can't buy a good song for a dollar. All of KSI's songs sell for $1 each on every music distribution platform. Also, most, also, most also, this is a double jab at KSI saying that he can't even buy a good song for his name, let alone make one. Quadeca poking jabs at the very hollow and meaningless lines from KSI's song Earthquake where he did some weird fucking shit about the woodchuck thing. <laughs> How much wood can a woodchuck chuck if the woodchuck look like you, bitch? I'm gonna have fun with the nigga here done, you the woodchuck woodchuck none. Also, Oh, that was super whack. To record oh. Play, such as FIFA, like KSI oh, that was super play. garbage. Side man staying even on your side. It's the side man. What's the reason it would lie? Quadeca on a playlist more than KSI. Witty wordplay about the side man, the group that KSI is a part of, who is not even on his side about who's the better artist. JJ should have shot to okay. AK, but he made ways being lonely with a rape face. Now we change face, thinking that he's gonna say face. Hit him from across the fucking pond, though. Lay, 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 lay. This is my payday. You and they say JJ, bro. He killed this. Killed this. Quadeca poking fun at KSI, rebuking his rape face version of himself, thinking that it will give him a new image and save his reputation from the old version of himself. Quadeca then proceeds to say that this change was okay. for the worse, not the better. Also, my favorite line of this entire track exists within this section, and I know literally every. Oh God! Now. Hold up! 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 Had to pause it off for a second. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Ready, set, go. Everybody missed it. First off, there was a hidden Lele Ponds reference. Whenever he says he's going to fuck him up from across the pond at No Lele, there was Pond, Ponds, No Lele, you, you get it? Was that hidden, though? It is a well-known phrase that when someone is across the pond, that means that they are in a different country that is separated by the ocean. Quadeca is in the U.S., KSI is okay. in London, England, across the Atlantic Ocean, therefore mm -hmm. separating them with the pond or the ocean. So essentially, Quadeca is hitting KSI figuratively with this track from across the ocean. Even further, Lele is a Hawaiian term that means to fly. So Quadeca hit KSI okay. figuratively with this diss track from across the pond or the ocean and didn't even have to fly there or Lele to do it in person, all while having this hidden Lele Ponds reference. Layers, motherfucker. Layers. Yeah, I just checked out what your grandma's uh, on. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright. I want everybody to keep this energy. Keep the energy. What you hiding more? 
is it your girlfriend or your hairline? KSI is extremely insecure about his hairline and wears a bandana in literally every picture that you can find of him. Leafy had his fucked up chin, KSI has a fucked up hairline. Also, a couple months back, it was one of the hot topics on YouTube that KSI would not let the world see his girlfriend. When you said, I'm done with music, we all wish that you were telling the truth. KSI made a video a few years ago that was titled that okay. he was done with music, but it was just, it was just clickbait, and he, he wasn't actually done with music, and a lot of people were sad about it. No, you can't get on my caliber. British okay. bitches trying to shoot they shot about that massacre. This is a double meaning of the word caliber, which means the size of a bullet, meaning that KSI uh, shots I be forgetting that this is for the shots. layman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel it, I feel it. Someone's status, so KSI can't rap to the status that Quadeca is on. Also, KSI is British, and the British shot people during the Boston Massacre, but this only enraged the people of the United States and motivated them to start the Revolutionary War in order to declare their independence, in which they royally kick Great Britain's ass. Think of KSI as Great Britain, and think of Quadeca as the United States. KSI's statements on the podcast were like the Boston Massacre, with little shots that only enraged the United States or Quadeca, and Quadeca's diss track is every amazing thing that happened in the Revolutionary War that allowed us to declare our independence and kick their fucking ass. No, I'm too spectacular, I just can't find your talent, sir. I think that ended back in 2012 just like that calendar. The Mayan calendar ended on December 21st, 2012, yep. and the entire world thought the world was going to end that day. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't miss too many bars. I pretty much caught them all originally. I feel, I feel crypt, though. <laughs> Matadors are bullfighters, so they're constantly dodging bullshit. Kodeka says that he doesn't have to box KSI to make his head go back and forth, but that his music will do that, much like when someone is vibing to a song. Also, That's he dope. doesn't need I to box him that. to pop his head, because his music will blow or pop his mind. I gotta drive you a passenger, to okay. gotta hop on your track or verse. I think I would rather get stabbed by a dagger and die while I'm wearing some Maverick merch. Kodeka says that he is the one driving this battle, I like and that. that KSI is really a passenger. <laughs> Also, he says that he would rather get stabbed by a dagger and fucking die wearing Maverick merch of all things than hop on a track with KSI. That's fucking brutal. Two extra points just so I can make a cool little outro scene. Uh, 99. If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems. All right, Crip. All right, Crip. I see how you broke down Kodeka's thing, and if you was really feeling Kodeka's this, you better wait for my Crip. Oh, you. Oh, because I'm seeing people react to this and I'm like, okay, okay, all right, I got you. I'm coming. Don't worry. KSI disc coming soon. Very soon. You did. I ain't with the chit chat just back and forth. Niggas want to nip that. Let me have a dog. Give her what you wish for. What you asking for? Listen. Love. I ain't with the chit chat to the back and forth. If niggas wanna nip that, I be happy, dog. Be careful what you wish for, what you 